The end has come for shady units. Arena isn't working as intended. Cavalier difficulty nerf coming soon. And Monster and Hunter crystals are now live. Yes, hello everybody. Welcome back to the Marvel Contest the Champions news for Friday. This show is really, really jam-packed. And that's no exaggeration. We've got so much to go over. And especially with stuff that literally has been dropping like anything over the last 24 hours. From Kaban Frenchy dropping some thought nuggets on the whole Cavalier situation. As well as some other stuff when it comes to rewards. But before the video properly kicks off, please hit the like button. Support the channel. Show YouTube that you do want me here on the platform by uh, indeed getting involved with the comments section. I'll be down there talking to some people. And as well, massive thank you to everybody that helps and supports this channel. If you support, massive, massive thank you to those that support on uh, the YouTube membership scheme. And as well on the Patreon scheme. Thank you very much that on screen at the moment. And as well, those that support over on Twitch with the ongoing problems I have with YouTube at the moment. It, it means a lot that people can come over and support on there. So, yep, twitch.tv slash rich the man live. Thank you to everybody that supports the Twitch subs or Prime Gaming subs, the people that do the normal tier one subs. Thank you very much to that, uh, them, and everyone as well that kind of like uh, donates and does the bits which is the super chat thing the cheering thing so thank you very much to everybody and you can find links of how to do that and how to give away a free twitch sub if you are indeed an amazon prime user and by the way something to talk about if you have amazon prime and you did see the boys last night the boys season finale i caught up a little bit this morning with it and especially there was actually a name drop there's a little diss at marvel contest the champions vault tournament of heroes i think it was called vault tournament of heroes i think they were talking about like a uh, video game and just like it was just a little bit of shade thrown at mcc's way so if you picked up on that man that's a little that's a little bit of a diss but yeah look let's get into the news our first story begins with arena now as you know arena has been changed as of yesterday it changed for the best and also maybe in some cases the worst depending on the way you look at it the good side of things is that we've got more of aggressive AI. So it's functioning in a certain way that's throwing special attacks, which is a big, it's been a big problem for a long time. It seems like all the champions had all or nothing. The way that you can get, gather the three star featured in Arena is better. It's on milestones and as well, the five star Arena cutoffs are different as well. But when it comes to the way that the pair ups are done with the infinite streak, as Hollywood Shodo puts here, and you can check out some of the images, just showcases like the way that it's the, the way that the uh, your setup against the enemy setup is problematic, and it is problematic if you want to create the infinite streak. And this is the thing. Kabam have answered against this very quickly, firstly, very quickly. As many players come in and say, like, okay, well, uh, four-star feature is much harder. No more Kang Thanos teams, even with teams of uh, 455s. 20-plus infinite streak is much harder. So people talk about that infinite streak. Kabam probably just redefined the ma death matches means uh, 12k. And that's the thing. The, the pair-ups, as Kabam said in some of the notes, is that the pair-ups are, are very different. The in-game mail saying that you will now be less likely to encounter enemy teams that have more than two times their power. So that's where you kind of go like, okay, I've got a 12,000 rated team. I'm not going to go anything more than 24,000 that I'm going to face off against. So many players pointing out the issues. Kaban Mike has sent, said something in response. Saying the infinite streak is not a feature of the game, but rather the result of requirements and calculations for finding matches. It is always changing and will continue to do so as more and more players have access to higher ranked champions. Oh, we've heard that spiel before. This change is not made only for those that are in the in the know about infinite streak. We promised to lower the, the number of death matches and we've done just that. This is a major improvement for all players, especially those that are new to Arena. Many people have disagreed, funny enough. Oh, 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 69 people have disagreed. But I think it would be worth Kabam investigating back on this, especially with having the likes of these three here and then going over to like the likes of this. Again, let's read on some more from Kabam Mika on this. This is very new to everybody and some people are automatically thinking they can't use four stars anymore. We're keeping an eye on it, but we are not going to make any changes right away without people having time to actually try this out. This is the reaction we receive every time uh, there is a change to Infinite Streak, which changes a lot, so we have to watch this closely. 
Also going further to say, just to give some context to what these changes are and why they've been an impact on the infinite streak, Previously, when you got higher in your streak, the arena was trying to match you with the team with a team that was at four times the team's PI. Once you cross a certain threshold, there aren't any teams that high. So the system defaults to a fake team, something very low. To be very clear, this was an unintentional bug and we've told players that in the past. We left it in game for a long time because it's something that players are very used to. What we changed is the max PI the opposition team should only be two times. It definitely killed the formula players have known, and we understand that. We're looking at what else can do we can do to alleviate this situation. It may not mean a total revert, but we're still open to that after we see more data and information from more players. There are more solu there are other solutions, and we're going to look into them. Going more further, say this change is not just about those of you who have been here for years and know the formulas and everything else about the game inside and out. When a new player joins, they don't have the information and don't understand why they're being hit with death matches. In that spirit, the increase in the PI of opponents makes sense, but it's obviously making it a less enjoyable experience for veterans, which is not the desire. This whole kind of situation is going to get more serious, especially for those, as I said, that are intense arena grinders. And I really would hope the command would go back to this and as well look into a way that this could be back to the, not back to the way it was, but similar to the way it was before, where maybe you hit threshold. I don't know if they can auto put something in that the matchmaking is um, not as painful as the um, as the kind of the PI that seems to be kind of versus one versus the other. But, you know, that's up to Kabam to look at their formulas and see if they can work out something with uh, the algorithm for matchmaking, which Marvel Realm of Champions seem to be suffering with at the moment. But that's another story for another channel, Rich's Realm. Go check it out. Links in the description. Okay, next up, and let's talk about information of a potential nerf to Cavalier. Now, Kabam Frenchy put out a long tweet about the situation, which we're going to have a look at now. So on screen at the moment is that particular thing. Starting off with saying some players are saying that the dev went dev went deaf on uncollected event rewards um, issue. I, I think the redistribution is different to the way you dangle a carrot. And for me, when you want to incentivize players to go and grab something, you put something at the end rather than paths. And but Kabam want you to... 100% rather or explore rather than they want you to um, to complete which is you know if that's their thing that's their thing but again as I said it's all about incentivizing players dangle carrots if the carrot now is dangled further away it doesn't incentivize players in any case we move on so where does the cavalier nerf side of things come in well here it is we did not have enough time to work on the quest itself this is going to be addressed next month if the tests go well clear up easy paths and changes in the class nodes reducing the time spent the uh, to explore it and the right champions so it's not like a total nerf for saying like attack values and stuff but at least to, to kind of like quicken the pace and that's the problem that i found like no problem with the difficulty side of things it's just time consuming and time consuming with champion specifics and stuff like that slows down that progression. Now this doesn't address the problems with the rewards needing scaling up and uh, improving but at the same time complexity wise if I want to get through this which I do my plan is my, my challenge is to on stream which if you follow the streams uh, I will do uncollected 100% then we move on 100% cavalier and do that all on stream so I can do that within hopefully one week so that then the remaining three weeks is all about arena grinding and as well 100%ing act 6.2 and starting to go through act 6. Now hopefully the changes come in today but yeah that's the update with the whole kind of cavalier situation and Kabam Frenchie's long tweet you can check it out with the link in the description. Okay, where do we start here? So, um, the shady units or the unit situation, unit refunds, there's a lot to this. You can see on screen at the moment, somebody's unit balance being minus 479,000, which, man, is, is so mental. Okay, where do you start with explaining this? So, um, when you go to the unit store, you buy with buy your credit card, okay? Now, I don't 100% know if this is one of many things. If you followed some previous videos on scams, then you'll know that in these kind of like videos or these kind of coverage, I will not tell you where to get this from. But at the same time, if you go there, it, this is how the process works. Somebody 
has a fake credit card or a dodgy credit card they then what they do is they will buy something like uh, an apple um an itunes card or an app or a uh, google play card one of those two things and what they do is by buying that online they'll get the code they then send you the code but at the same time that credit card is fraudulent they're giving you those reduced units on a like the reduced cost units on a fake credit card and this is one of the results here but as well there is another thing chargebacks so the reason this could be one of two things is that with the units say my units there say i buy some units and i'm like oh i'm not happy with this or i can't afford it i don't know why i've bought these units and then what i do is i say i want to charge this back to um not not, not to kabam but kind of like it's it's a case like i don't want this so i then ask for a refund and because i ask for a refund the policy now with kabam is is that if you if you do that your your unit balance goes into minuses and that's what this is all about it's all about your units going into the minus and that's where you're seeing a lot of stuff at the moment now i am hearing ilac's going to be doing a full video on this you can go and check out his channel the coverage of this will be later on i hear it's very spicy uh, so it is well worth a watch go and check it out later on here's the thing i take no pride in kind of reporting on stuff like this as it just like it's up to a personal preference of the way in and how you conduct yourself but if you're buying shady units, you're buying through people that are untrusted and it's not directly through Kabam, it will lead to this. I've definitely known of a few people being affected. So this basically explains why you're seeing this kind of float around the community, this kind of minus um, X thousand red units. The only way you can get by, get back from this is I think it's buying units back. Don't quote me on that one. Or it, I don't think it's getting units. I think it's buying units back. So basically, you're always going to be owing units. It's it's kind of like it's it's a weird situation to be in. And this just goes to show it's up to you how you play this game. You can either play it with uh, free to play, and that's up to you. You can either put some money the developer's way, that's up to you. Uh, and if you do put money developer's way, make sure you're buying it directly from Kabam or you're getting it from Google Play cards or Apple cards bought with your physical money or you've got from gifts. And as I always say, if you're looking for an idea for like a Christmas or a birthday and you're like, hey, well, what can I get people to get me? Um, then look, just say, I I'm, I'm looking to, I like to play games on my phone. Send me an, an Apple, uh, an iTunes card or a Google Play card. And there, there you go, like you've got that option. So therefore you don't have to do spend yourself or get yourself involved with these kind of shady units or fraudulent credit cards of, uh, yeah, just, uh, and then chargebacks. If you've made a decision to buy something, know in your mind that you want to buy it rather than kind of going, look, I'm going to charge it back as Kabam are doing their thing. But yeah, that kind of explains the minus red units matter and uh, the deep dive on this will be done by Alex Skills over on his channel later on today. Also in good news, it looks like the Monster and Hunter crystals have now gone live. It looks like we've got Grand Masters and as well just the standard ones. The crystals themselves can be found in the soul boost section. They seem to cover a good spectrum of monsters and hunters known for the uh, in the Marvel Universe. With uh, We've got Blade Annihilus, we've got Ghost Rider, Venom Pool, Void, Warlock. Nice, a nice amount of champions. The drop rates are pretty, pretty pathetic at 5% five, 5 for a 5 star, 4, four star 14% and then um, we've 15% even in a 3 star to at 80 percent so it's like that they're pretty bad the thing that's kind of curious is they've not said anything about the way the shards are being handled so whether or not you know i don't know i, I don't know someone's saying that they did fourteen thousand worth and i, I don't know if there's people with about thirty thousand plus uh, of them so i'm like well what, what are we doing here it's kind of weird and you're not able to see the volume that you have which i, I again is is kind of odd and no, nothing on the forums about like what happened to the extensive amount the players were able to grab. So yeah, we're kind of left in the dark about this situation. It seems some people are getting some good pulls, a nice uh, Red Hulk there for somebody. But um, yeah, there's no really word on like what happens with the extra volume you got. And as well, the way that you can see the volume of shards that uh, is possible to grab. Like if you go to, and they just click on one of them. Uh, there, I'm not seeing like, it says owned zero. So own the physical crystal, own the shards. You know, there's nothing in the inventory. Let's just quickly check. Going into the inventory section, items. Going down, going down, going down, down. Nothing, 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 nothing. 
Nothing. Nothing. Nothing that says about the volume of shards. The only way that you can see that, the volume of shards, is by clicking on these and you see them there. So I own 7,250 at the moment. Yes, I've got to claim some of this stuff, but, you know, it's, it's, it's by the by. The fact is, there should be a better way of seeing the volume you have rather than to kind of like click on the crystals in the objective section, which once you've done all the objectives, you can't see how many you've got. It's not the be all and end all because the crystal shards aren't and the crystals aren't brilliant. But still, the point still remains that it just would be nice uh, and better to see this in a better uh, light. And, and as well, what happens with the extensive amount players were able to grab? Well, no say on that one. In any case, whatever it is, um, it's left for a Monday because now it's Friday. And Friday is Art Corner, so we go on to the Art Corner Discord where this amazing, this is absolutely amazing, this uh, Scarlet Spidey. So if you're not familiar with the story arc with Scarlet Spidey, go and check it out. So this one's done by Full Fantastic. Uh, we've also got, I'm not, not quite sure who this who this, this gentleman is. It looks like Star-Lord. Um, I'm not quite sure if there is or not, but that's done by Pedro. So um, as well, we've got, got another Spider-Man. And then we left off last week. Full's done another fantastic Spider-Man. Look at that, another great piece of work. We've then got a Cosmic Ghost Rider here, done by Elfil One. And what else have we got? What else have we got? We've got, oh, look at that. That's a Terex there. Look at that. That is fantastic. Man, there's a Galactus in the, in the background there. We've also got, it's on his side, but that's fine. That's a Moon, moon Knight, I want to say. I think it's a Moon Knight. It looks good. That's amazing. We've also got this Magneto. In like a galactic or kind of like I think he had that space based, didn't he, for a while? Yeah, fantastic work over on the Discord. Well done, everybody. I will feature a lot more next week. There's still a lot more to catch up on our amazing work in the art corner on my Discord. Go and check it out. Links in the description. And we'll see you all next week for some more art corner. And there we go. That's been the Marvel Contest of Champions News for Friday. Have a lovely weekend, whatever you're doing. Make sure as well to catch up some of the recent content up there. I'm hopefully going to be writing out some guides and stuff for some so grind things and like start preparing the big push November, December time. You're going to see a lot more content from me that is going to be focused on to guides. I'm redoing all my guides. Act 5 guides. Do some more Act 6 guides. Make sure that we've done like full explorations of things as well. Grind guides and things. A lot of the meta of the game has changed. So yeah, do look out for that, guys. I'm going to be putting in the work in November, December. But I need preparation. I need to write and structure videos. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. See you all soon. Bye-bye.